The MiG-29 fighter belonging to the Ukrainian Air Force attacked a Russian army position in Russia's Belgorod border region with the use of AASM-250 Hammer aerial bombs on Thursday. The relevant images have been published on Telegram channels. Hammer, standing for Highly Agile Modular Munition Extended Range, has been provided to Ukraine by France. There has been no official confirmation of the attack from Ukrainian and Russian officials. This is the second such Ukrainian attack on Russian territory. The first attack occurred on June 9 when a Ukrainian fighter jet struck a command post in Belgorod region. It is not known what type of projectile was used during the attack. Located on the border with Ukraine, Belgorod is the most frequent target of Ukrainian troops in the Russian territory. In the past few months, Ukraine has stepped up drone and missile attacks on Russian territory in response to Kremlin targeting Ukraine's civilian infrastructure and civilian population. Since the start of the full-fledged of Ukraine, Kiev has launched drone attacks deep inside Russia, targeting at least three oil refineries. Ukraine is specifically focused on striking Russian energy infrastructure in a bid to decrease Russian economic potential, Kiev claims. The drone and missile attacks on Russian annexed Crimea Peninsula have also been increased. In the latest of such attacks, the downing of Ukrainian drones by Russian Air Force killed four people and injured several others in Sevastopol city of Crimea. A wildfire that started in the U.S. state of Oregon on Tuesday burned around 1,700 acres of land, leaving thousands of people without electricity and prompting evacuations. The cause of the fire is being investigated. Dubbed the Darlene 3 fire, the wildfire spread quickly on the outskirts of Lapine in Deschutes County. The fire had covered three to five acres when firelighters were dispatched to the scene of blaze at around 12.45 p.m. local time. However, an hour later, it covered 1,700 acres by Tuesday night, according to Central Oregon Interagency Dispatch. The U.S. Forest Service shut down and evacuated nearby campgrounds and trails in Deschutes National Forest and the shelter for evacuees was set up at a high school in Lapine, a rural city about 30 miles southwest of Bend. Animals were also sheltered at the Lapine Rodeo Grounds. The fire also caused massive power cuts in the city of around 2,500 residents. More than 2,000 residents were left without power, as Midstate Electric Cooperative, an electric utility company, told some customers it would most likely enact a public safety shutoff in the area as a result of the fires. Amid the wildfire, Oregon Governor Tina Kotek invoked Oregon's Emergency Conflagration Act, a law that allows the state fire marshal to invoke the full power of the Oregon Fire Service to protect life and property.